GM. <laughs> Come on, Lawrence, you're going down. You're going down. What's he going to play? Okay, I'd imagine a Tarish French. I can't lose the Lawrence Trent 6-0. I've got to keep my nerves. And the, the tension is there. Losing to Lawrence, I would have to hit the beer heavily. Really heavily. If I lose to Lawrence, my life is nay but over. So my opponent, International Master Lawrence Trent, a good friend of mine. Uh, you might have seen his death match against John Bartholomew. He's a very good blitz player. He's pretty crap at long play. He struggles a bit when people have to think. But he's very good at hustling. He's a hustler. He's a born hustler, old Lawrence. No, he's a very good player. So we're going to play six games at this time limit. We might play another time limit if I don't lose 6-0. If I lose 6-0, I'm crying. I'm going home to have a cry. Um, and what's happening here? Well, what should I do? Should I take that pawn or should I just develop and try to sacrifice? Let's just develop. Let's keep it sensible. Now, C4 is another idea, but I'm just going to happily get my bits out. And now I think it is time. I don't know. He, he, he knows his theory, Lawrence. This is the thing. He's a bit of, he's a, bit of a theory hacker, old Loz. So can I give up this pawn? Do I want that pawn or do I stop bishop g5 from coming? And then will he grab what? No, we'll, we'll stop. I want to stop his bishop coming to g5. I don't allow that bishop there. So, okay. So he's coming to try and hold the d4 square. Sensible play. But now my bishop comes in. Boom. And I get this nice sexy pin. Oh, there's a little trap here. Oh, no, there's not. I was thinking if I take and go queen there, that could be quite nasty. Takes, takes, check, takes, queen, check. No, it doesn't work. So I'm just going to put my pieces on good squares. Why not? Why not put my pieces on good squares? I also had knight e4 there. Knight e4 also looked quite good. Now, is he getting a little bit overloaded here? Well, I can increase the pressure with queen b6. Also, queen d6 looks quite natural, but I think I'm just going to go here. Let's just move my pieces to the best squares. Uh, and like you say, you can watch Lawrence, his stream as well. Lawrence will be streaming over on his Twitch channel, which is Trent Osk. Not sure why, but you can uh, see his action there. So I've got all my pieces on good squares. This should be quite good for me. Now, if he goes bishop e3, I'm very tempted just to whip it off. But am I threatening anything here? So am I threatening bishop takes here? I think I'm threatening bishop takes f3. Because then if knight takes, I take here. If bishop takes, I'll take on d4. So this is what we're going for. I've just developed very normally. I think this h6 move is good. So Lawrence has stopped that. And now I'm very tempted just to whip that, whip that bad boy off. But that's probably not a very good move. What else can I do? Bishop takes here. Bishop takes. Takes here. Uh, I want to get my knight to g4, preferably. That'd be nice, wouldn't it, if I get my knight to that square. So I could just move here with the idea of knight here. But I'm now thinking he's maybe got b4 here. Maybe I should have done something a bit more violent there. Uh, so he's stopping that one. Now I'm really tempted just to take there. I'm just going to go for it. Look, it's only Lawrence. We're going to go for it. I don't care. I must have some counterplay in the dart squares. I'm going for counter playing the dark squares, but uh, this might be a bit of a wally move. It might be a wally move. Okay, so of course he's trying to swap off queens. None of that, please. My queen wants to come in on the dark squares. Queen there, bishop there. Try to get an attack on the dark squares. Okay, so I can now move my queen in. Queen here. And that looks like a good idea to me. Just following my plan of trying to get an attack generated against his king so um i don't know if this is the best way to play but it's certainly an interesting way to play and i love attacking i love attacking so it's nice to start the first game with as big an attack as possible yeah that knight jump was annoying now if i go here is he going to push my queen to a silly square well quite possibly um do I just have to come back? Maybe I just have to come calmly back and try another plan. Now, we'll do that for now. We'll do that for now. Um, maybe Queen G3 was a little bit premature there, but I must have compensation for the exchange. 
His king is a little bit weak. This pawn is weak, and my bishop is better than his uh, rook at the moment. So I'm still feeling okay here. I'm still feeling okay in this position. Um, right, so he's trying to... Okay, so that allows my rook in, so we'll, we'll do this. I want to always play the most active moves I can. Go forwards, man. Never retreat. Now, he's walking into a pin, so we are coming for him. And let's do it. Let's bring them all in. Let's bring them all in. Now, he's even going there. Now, I can take here. Is there a better move, though? What about I try to get rid of this knight, because then that will really drop. Bishop here, because now... Now, my bishop is not doing so much on this square. So I think I'm going to move it here. And if I take on e3, I've definitely got full compensation. So let's try this one. Interesting position. He can go knight d4, though. That's a bit annoying. He's moving that knight to d4. And now, if I take... Well, I think I have to take now. Let's take this one off. Get one pawn back. And try and bring in the firepower. Now... Again, it looks like I should. I've got one pawn now, and I've got bishop d3, d6 coming. And bishop d6 is very sexy here. Now, I could take and win another two pawns here. That's also quite tempting. But I'm going to go for mate on the dark squares instead, rather than taking on e8, taking on d4, which was a very good option because I want to keep my attack going on the dark squares. There's no, I don't, I don't want to. You know, I don't want to back down now. King h1, queen f4. Or do I have knight here? Knight here takes, bishop takes, queen g4, holding it together. So I'm just going to threaten mate. Nothing wrong with threatening mate. And now we bring in the pieces. Here they come. The bishops. Bishop power. I want to get a queen, sexy h3, and I will salsa dance his ass into the ground. He likes a bit of salsa dances, does old Loz. But his, his, his ass is going to be salsa danced into the concrete. Um, and let's see. Will he see it? Will he see queen takes h3? Oh, the lucky patzer. Okay, he saw it. <laughs> and right, that's a bit annoying. Now, he's got queen f2. He will certainly play next. Um, oh, my time. Bloody hell. How do I get so short? Right, okay, I've got to move quick. He's defended. He's defended everything. And now I'm on the back foot. Okay, I don't want to lose that pawn. Move quickly, Simon. I've just got to shut up and play now. Queen h3 again. Oh, he can take that bishop. Queen h3 doesn't work. Ah, I should have kept that bishop. That was silly. Now I'm struggling a bit. Okay, I've got a couple of threats. Still got some chances here. But he's defended. He's defended all right. He's defended all right. So I'm going to take that one, of course. And now, what is this position like? How many pawns have I got? One pawn. Harry! Come on, son. Come on, son. Come on. He's, def he's defended against Harry. He's defended against Harry. Oh, dear. That was not... Okay, now he's... No, he can't take that pawn. But he can check me if he wants to. What is this? Okay. He's giving me a little cheeky check. Okay, let's just step out of that one for now. And, well, do we want to draw? First game draw? No, I'll probably block it if he plays on. Come on, let's play for a win. Draws are for wimps. Let's do it. Let's keep playing on. And am I going to regret this? <laughs> Quite possibly. Quite possibly. Okay, he's come back. Oh, sh no. Okay, I'm all right. And now, what am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> How do I win this position? Okay, I want to shove this pawn down. Not sure how I do that. How do we do this? It's a bloody tense game. Tense. Tense. He's coming behind me. Lawrence likes doing that maneuver. <laughs> okay. What is these? What are these endings like? I don't know. With queen here, my king is very quick. He's taken that one. What's this ending like? Probably not great for me. Uh, but this is very interesting. 
That's a good move he's played. I'm going to try to come in with my king and queen my D pawn. Come on, D pawn. You can do it. Come on, D pawn. Come on, D pawn. Come on, D pawn. D pawn, you're coming. Come on, D pawn. <laughs> okay, I think I've got him. I've got, I've got Lawrence. Easy, easy. Oh dear. Yes, drawing is the wimps. One nil, Lawrence. One nil, son. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Okay, Harry. Right, so we're playing six games. I'll take the first lead. That was an intense game. I'm not looking at the chat much during play because um, it's pretty intense to look at chat. So, um, at least I haven't lost by a m massive score. He normally plays the Kings in defense. So, will he go for the Kings Indian? No, he's going for probably the, I don't know, the, what is this? Okay, well, he's going to go for E6, the Benoni. Do you hear it? Do you hear it? Launch! Launch! Hooray! <laughs> oh, no, you cannot be serious. What is that move? He's trying to stop poor Harry in his, in his, uh, in his tracks. Okay, so I'm going to try to use the G5 square. Um... Now, let's just keep it symmetrical. Lawrence is a very tricky guy. So I'm not gonna go crazy. And against tricky guys, you want to try and not allow them to spark up the action with loads of tactics. So we're gonna instead try to keep things under as much control as can. Now, I've gotta watch out for B5. But in the meantime, this is normally the pawn you want to attack in these positions so that is precisely what I'm going to do I'm just going to try to aim at this pawn and my knight doesn't look very good so where do we move this maybe we just shuffle it here and eventually try to come into e4 with some ideas on the e-file but Lawrence is getting quite active now so it's time to take the e4 square I know this knight looks good but I think I need to take that square so let's take the e4 square here let's go there and put some pressure on his d6 pawn. That is my one idea here. Now, I think that's a good move from Lawrence, swapping dark square bishops. Now, I could sacrifice a pawn, and I'm going to. I don't like my queen on c2. Yes, he can take on b2 at the end, but then at least my rook becomes very active, and I want to try to give my queen chances of coming over to h6 in these positions. So this is what I'm, I'm going to try to achieve, get my queen into h6. And what else have I got here? Well, maybe I'm going to play f3, kick that knight away. That, that knight is kind of getting my nerves, so I might want to kick that away. But this is probably, I like my position. I like my position. I think his king is going to be weaker. Okay, he's going to play a safety first move. I'll, I'll just defend this one and maybe get ready to play b4 at a, at a later moment as well. It's a pity I wasn't playing title Tuesday because I would have got 10 out of 10. I would have creamed the field today. No one stood a chance. With my green tea skills, how could anyone stand a chance today? Green tea, that's the way to go. Okay, right, well, let's get the rook to the open line. Got to make sure everything's defended. And how is this position now? I don't know. I still got ideas of taking the bishop and getting my queen here. And I want to then get a knight to f6 check in. This would be, thank you for, um, thank you for subscribing um, to the channel. Eric, uh, what's that? Guy Eric, thank you, man. That's that's precisely what I want people to do. I want people to subscribe to the channel. So, can I play this and not get mated with Queen E7? I think I can. Oh, he's got a check. King here, Rook takes here. Then he's got. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. That, I'm, I'm getting scared. I'm going to take this one first and then play this move. Thank you for subscribing. Yeah, if you do want to support this channel, then do subscribe. So. I've got rid of the bishop first because I don't want his bishop here. And I'm hoping to trap the knight now. But he's got this little tactic. And now he's got this one coming. If I go rookie two. I can't take here. Well, I could, but then he takes here. Takes, rook takes, take on h5. My position's a little bit disjointed. So let's, I don't like, as you can say, my favorite word is a little bit disjointed. Maybe I'll just move my knight, but then he comes in. So tactically, he, he's, he's found a solution at the moment. 
do I have to now go here and allow lots of exchanges? I can't see a better move. Maybe there was a, maybe there was a better idea, but this move seems all right. Um, I'm still keeping on his knight here, but it does allow, as we can see, exchanges. Now, queen f4, he's going to go queen e7, and then, then he's sort of quite well positioned. f4 gives up a lot of squares. I don't like that move. Queen here, queen e7, takes, queen takes. Well, we can play this ending. We can play this ending, I think, So I've got king f2. Or maybe I don't... Okay, let why, why give up the e5? I don't want to give up the e5. So I'm going to try to keep control. And maybe now... I should play this move because in a lot of variations c4 is weak but Lawrence is much quicker than me this is uh, one of his one of his strengths he is a very good player um, okay so maybe he wants a4 I'll stop b5 I'll stop him playing b5 but what do I do to improve I think I'm taking here and going queen e3 and then if he checks me here I'm going to try to slowly get my queen into the position something like that uh, I'm quite happy for the endings because I've got a bit more space. So I think we will go for this one. And now, oh, I, he's setting up a real cheapo, knight g4. What a cheapo that was. If I go queen e3, knight g4, that was so cheap. So I'm, I'm going to now just avoid any little Lawrence cheapos, this kind of cheapo move. And maybe I'm going to try... Okay, now what are these endings like? So I think it's time to move my knight back. And one of my main ideas throughout this game has been to, to keep hitting this one. So let's try to get my pieces to the, some better squares. And I'm trying to stop him from having many moves. That's my idea. What can he move? If he moves away from f6, I will come in. And I'm just... Okay, so he's played this rather passive move. And this maybe helps me later on, stops his b-pawn from moving. Trying to get him in a bit of zugzwang, but my pawn could also become weak. Okay, right, so is there any way through? I can't see it, and I'm getting short on time. So I have to move here. And what's my next idea? Maybe to move my king over here and go b4. This is probably the only sort of major plan I can see here. King to c3, then play b4, something like this. So he's come back to attack that one, but of course it's not a problem at the moment. And this was my other idea, because I've got a lot of pieces on the king side, and you know who I want to push? I want to push that little guy over there. That little guy is eager as anything. He's really eager. Is he ready? Is he, is he ready? He's ready. Let's push him. So we're going to push Harry. Oh no! Oh! Oh, I just fell into one of his cheapos. Oh dear, that was so bad. It was going so well, and I just, I just forgot one little slip there. One little slip. All I had to do was go king g3, completely controlling the game there, and he did a little cheapo on me. Cheapo bloody merchant. Okay, we have to go for a Dutch there. That was, that was painful. Okay, it happens. So, oh, that was a nice positional game. He got his bloody cheapo in. Uh, that was that was no that wasn't fun. Okay, so come on, bring your G4, bring it, bring it. And uh, that was that was bad. I shouldn't be falling for that, should I? Okay, so he's playing quite a weird little system here. Um, how should I meet this? Well, maybe I'm going to put the bishop on C5 and try to tempt him into playing D4. I've got to avoid, I've got to like maybe calm down the chat. Need more green tea, more green tea needed. So it's one all and we're playing six games. So the winning score now, well it could, well it's going to be four, if anyone gets to four, no five, could be five one. Uh, okay, well he's gone here. That looks very risky because surely I can even, con 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 okay, I'm going to go here. I'm threatening checkmate on, on, on this square. So... I don't understand that move because it closes down. That that shows a complete lack of understanding. Complete. <laughs> I'm only being rude because I know Lawrence. I'm sure he's saying the same. After I blundered my queen, what can I say? Um, now it would be funny if he does a double blunder here and takes there. You know that 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 would be nice. You know, that would that would top my blunder. That was a terrible blunder. Okay, so he's gone here. 
And now, what about knight takes here? I can grab this pawn. Knight takes here is very natural. Bishop here. And what is that position going to be like? I open up. I don't want to open up the G file. You know what? I don't want to. Maybe I can grab it, but I'm not going to because I, I'd rather, rather than winning a pawn, I don't want to give. He wants me to take it. You see, he, he understands that if I take it, he gets an attack. Instead, I'm thinking I want to just try to open up his king because I'm castled. He is not. So I'm going to try to open up the center. Maybe try to push through with D4 here. Something like this. Um, maybe I also have ideas of this. Sacrificing. Can I, I mean, d4, very tempting. d4 takes, knight takes. I mean, can I sacrifice and go d4? Going, going for glory. So tempted to do this. I'm going to go for it. Let's do it, lads. Let's do it. Let's, let's, let's go for the kill. Let's go for the crazy attack. And I want to go d4 and just sack a piece to try and get through to him so my bishops if they open up can be very strong in this position and I've got f4 coming as well so for a piece it looks like it could be some danger I don't know how much um, because he's got knight to a4 and he's trying to give the piece back now he doesn't he doesn't want so do I take or do I take and go f4 and keep the attack going? Very tempted to keep the attack going. I mean taking there is possible, but I think I'm going to keep the attack going by playing f4 next because I want to get my rook into the game. So pawn takes f4. I'm just going to keep throwing the pieces at him. Let's have a go. So f4. And these two guys want to party. This is the idea. Um, it might be an unsound sack, but it's an interesting sack. It's an interesting sack. Uh, so I think Tao would be happy with a sack. So he's closed things up. And now, do I take with a bishop or with a pawn opening up my rook? Taking with a pawn makes more sense to me because I've got to open things up to this. And now, how about this move? It's not a queen blunder this time. I want to actually come over here and swing it across with and get my queen into the attack. And I've also got ideas of this and here. So Lawrence has stopped that. And if I check, he gets his rook to a good defensive square. So queen f4 would be a natural way to continue. This check here, I can win a pawn, but I don't like it. So I'm just going to go here. Um, and I'm keeping my pressure here. So what ideas have I got? Maybe knight here. And I've also got ideas of bringing my rook in. These two guys are not playing a part, so I want to I want to get them into the battle. Now that can't move, so I'm going to try and do this. Get my last pieces in. So first of all, I threatened to bring my knight in. Second of all, I threatened to bring my rook in. So this this is uh, this is um, at least at least I've got some pressure on his position here. Um, but he is defending well. So okay, so can I bring it in anyway here? Bishop takes here. Bishop takes rookie two. What is that? What is that for a crazy idea? Or is that too much? Queen a1 takes, knight takes here. I don't think it's working. Can I increase the pressure anymore? Well, how about we double on the f file? I don't know. It looks like a normal, a normal way to play. Now, if b4... I can even consider bishop takes there, but probably just bishop d4. And I, I want to just bring all my pieces hitting this square. This is a lot of pressure. Now, bishop to this square is also very tempting because now queen g4 check. Again, it's my bishops. Look at my bishops. They are a masterclass in, um, in, in power there. So I can check him now. And where does he move? Let's do it. Where does he move? I'm winning the rook. Oh, yeah. That's how you attack. That's how you get it on. 21 moves, sucker. You blunder your queen one game, and then you play like a genius the next. Well, occasionally. Okay, so that, that, that kind of worked. That was, a good, that was a good little attack there. I think that worked all right. So, okay, thank you for the cheer, Twitch for fun. 
Um, thank you for the cheer there, sir. So if I win one more game, um, it is going to be... Uh, at least I don't lose the match. <laughs> so this is a big game here, which I'm sure Lawrence is going to be gunning for me in this game. So I'm going to now play... Um, thank you for the shout-out, guys, in the chat. Um, thank you for the cheer there. Yay, Bjorn. Put that in your pipe and smoke it, son. That's all we can say. And... This little system is like the Grand Prix attack. It's like the Grand Prix, but um, it's it's like, you know, it. I don't put my knight on C3. Um, I do not put my knight on C3 because I want to put my pawn on C3. So now it's a bit more like a King's Gambit, which I'm very happy with. I love the King's Gambit. So if he takes here, we're, we're going to get a fun King's Gambit, and he's taken it. Of course, he is the Trent. Lawrence is not scared of anything. Literally nothing. And now can we get another attack in? Okay, well, I've got to open it up. We're going to go for another attack. Lawrence is not scared of anything. I learned this a long time ago. Um, and, well, because I'm castled, it's like a King's Gambit. I'm just going to try to uh, open the position again and get through to this square. So I could take here, try to get into d6. Um, what other aggressive moves do I have? H4 is kind of normal. Can I sack here? Can I just bring my knight in? Uh, well, D5 as well. There's lots of moves. D5, D6. What would Morphe do here? Sometimes in life you have to ask yourself, what would Morphe do? I think Morphe would win this one and try to get a knight to this square. So we're going to try to get a knight into there. Bring that knight into there. That looks like a good plan. Um, so we will do this one and maybe I even can sack a piece here you know I got and then bring the bishop in to f4 quickly something like that he's playing very stodgily so I now I'm gonna go this way because it also gives me the option of c4 gives me two moves I got b5 and c4 and this square is massive this is a massive massive square for my knight if I can get the knight into that big square on d6 now, okay, so I have e5. I'm not worried about him taking here. That's not a problem for me. Um, I'm going to get my knight to this square. It's a lovely square. He's castled. And there we go. Let's just sink it. Sink it on that square. And I can also try to come for his bishop, which is defending his king. Now I've got to look at sacrifices and way to open up his king. So I've got moves like g3 and h4 to try to open up his king side over there. So these are the kind of ideas which I can consider. G3 and H4. I'm not worried about that pawn. It's on the other side of the board. We don't need to worry about that. So H4 here, I take here. Must give me fantastic play for a piece. Uh, is it enough? I don't know. Let's do it. So I need, I, I'm need. i going to try now. Harry always needs to play. Harry needs to play. So my idea is I'm just, I'm just going to give. I'm just going to give him the piece. He can have the piece. And... Now I want to play e5, maybe queen d2 and take here, maybe knight to f5. So it's another piece sack line. We're 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 sacking. He can have the rook. I don't I don't care about the rook. Who cares about the, who cares about the rooks? We don't we don't want the rook. Have, have the rook. Have it. Have the rook. I don't want the rook. You can have it. Have the bloody rook. Who cares? We want your king, son. So okay. So now it's a rook. Now it's a whole rook. Is this enough for a rook? What do you reckon, guys? Is it enough? Is it enough? Um, well, I'm taking here, and I've got ideas of e5. So, I don't know. The attack is dangerous. Um, my bishops are good, and I have the initiative, which which is nice. Um, and I want to keep attacking him. It's like, you know, what would Morphe do? You have to ask yourself, what would Morphe do? Do you guys agree? Would Morphe like this, or Morphe would Morphe not like this? Okay, so now Knight here becomes very tempting, but then he takes there with check. Does that bother me? I move my king, and I'm threatening Bishop takes here. Is it more accurate to take here first to try and open him up like this? I think it is. So I'm going to take here first. I need to get rid of the defenders around his king. Maybe one big threat is queen g5 now. Another big threat is bishop takes bishop. 
and knight to f5 check. Um, so, okay, so now knight to f5 is my big idea. So he's defending against that as much as he can. Maybe he wants to put his queen on this square to defend. So I should open up my rook somehow. Where did my bishop want to go? h5 looks natural because then I'm threatening to take here. So let's put the bishop on h5 and keep trying to come forwards at him. Now knight here is probably his only move and f6 is also also an option. He might be defending this one. Have I gone a little bit overboard um, in this attack? Well knight here, I'm not worried about taking there, but queen here I am worried about. Do I have a good move there? I need a good move there. The, the attack looks very dangerous, but it may just not be enough um, in the position. He might just be defending. Knight here, queen here. And what do I play? Do I have to retreat my queen? That's a bit that's a bit negative, but maybe maybe then I still have an attack. This is probably the best move. At least my knight needs to come a bit nearer towards him. And I'm still threatening some check with the knight winning his queen now. And here, if my knight comes back, how is this? His queen then comes to g7. Well, we can try. We can try this. This is a great defender, though, unfortunately. And it is defending everything, so I need to try to get rid of it. But I think he's defended this one. Uh, I, threw it, I threw everything at him, and it wasn't quite enough by the looks of it. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I'm still going to keep coming. Still going to keep coming with some ideas. We're not giving up yet. Can't see how to do this. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. Maybe I should have taken and gone check. Was that okay? If I'd taken the knight and gone check? Potentially. Well, I got rook. Okay, we we'll play for the win. Yeah, why not? Play for the win. We always play for the win. No matter what, even if we're losing, we play for the win. We're keeping the pressure on. Weird. This is a weird, weird game, yeah? Don't ask me what's happening here. Because I don't know. I mean, I'm a rook down, but all my pieces are attacking, so this is quite dangerous for him. Um, and I'll probably have to take the draw. There we go. Okay. Whoa. Ho, ho, ho. I don't know what was happening there. Anyone know? It looked like my attack was very strong, but maybe I missed a good move somewhere along the way. Um, I probably had some. Uh, I like that. Trotter's 64 are saying Tau. Tau looks down disapprovingly. Well, we can't be a Tau every day. If we just play, if we can have one game that barely resembles Tau, it's okay. And now, now he's playing the Magnus Carlsen opening. See, so he's getting desperate now. Oh, he's tricked me. He's tricked me. Okay, but I've tricked you. King's Gambit. Wahaha. <laughs> okay, right. So we've got a really weird King's Gambit now. And like I say, if I draw one game, then uh, it's... I, I can't lose the match. Thank you for subscribing, PPRTS. Very kind of you. Put that in your wallet and spend it. Thank you. That's very kind of you to, to subscribe, PPRTS. Uh, thank you. And if you do want to support this, then um, you can subscribe to my channel, which is very kind of you to do that. It, it helps me do more of these streams. Obviously, in future, I will try and prepare it, it, it's a little bit better. Uh, but the title Tuesday event unfortunately did not happen today, so that was a little bit up, um, a little bit annoying for everyone, I think. So okay, well let, let's keep play, playing romantic chess. I think you know we're having fun just by attacking, so we're going to keep we're going to keep this kind of crazy attacking idea up. And the position now is very complicated. I will grab a beer, PP RTS. Maybe at the, at the end of this match. It's kind of turned into a rivals match instead uh, and I'm going to take here uh, I want to give my pieces maximum thing now he probably should check here when I'm wondering can I play this move g6 like Morphe what would Morphe do all we have to ask is what would Morphe do 
What would Morphe do? Uh, what would Morphe do? Okay, well, we won't find out because he hasn't taken it. Now, I'll give him a chance to go g4 because that weakens his king quite a lot if he plays g4. Maybe I'll sack a piece again. What would Morphe do? Morphe would go bishop takes f5 and go ha ha ha. So what would Morphe do? He would activate his pieces just as PPRTS is saying. Am I sticking to... Okay. Well, that's a pity. Well, what, my, what would Morphe do? Morphe would bring his queen over to the king's side. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna, that's what Morphe would do. He'd bring his queen over to the king's side. Okay, Odd Skill was saying no beer for me today, just green tea. What would Morphe do? He'd bring his pieces over towards the king. And he'd create a threat. What would Morphe do here? He would uh, bring his last piece into the attack. And my knight on f4 is lovely. Just ask yourself, what would Morphe do? I just need one more piece coming in, and it is lovely. I have queen f6 as well coming down here. This is what happens when you play a3. I mean, come on. You're going to play a3. You deserve to get... You deserve everything that's coming towards you, man. Uh, Morphe would um, remove all his clothes and declare himself king. I won't be doing that. Just, just to warn you, probably not going to happen today. Uh, I, I value my clothes. What would Morphe do here? Well, he's he's getting absolutely, absolutely. I was going to say something rude. I must be. What would Morphe do? He'd probably take there. Does that work? He'd probably take that one. Or do I go queen here, g3? Let's calculate. G3, knight check, king, g2, knight takes here, rook takes, rook takes, everything comes off, not so good. What about queen here, 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 takes, rook, here, f3, holding on. But here, here, take, I can take there at the end with a big attack. Is there something, it feels like this should be something really good for me in this position. But I think I'm going to go for this one. Maybe the same better. But this one attracts me because my queen can sneak in. And I've got this at the end. He's gone here. Okay. What would Morphe do? He would go... He's trying... He can't defend this. Surely he can't defend. Rook here. He'd go rook here. Or rook here. One of these two. Morphe would do this. I don't even know what I'm threatening now, though. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have allowed that. I probably should have sacrificed... On, on G2 rather than allowing allowing this one to occur now if he goes pawn here okay he's defending quite well now this is the problem his knight is very strong I'm not sure how I'm getting through F3 was a good move I, I, I underestimated F3 um, and it's gonna be hard for me to break break through this position so it's gonna be very hard for me to break through now in this structure so he's played as Lawrence always does the most active moves and he might just start taking my pawn so I, I need to start creating some threats now this check I've got check and Queen takes Knight what about this for a little tactic a tactic lito look at this for a little cheeky tactic what boom cheeky okay well of course Lawrence sees everything but I've won a pawn that was cheeky that was a little tickle. Um, and now I have a good position. So we should get our rooks to more centralized squares and try to swap something off. Uh, and I'm happy to play an ending because I'm a, I am a pawn up. So the ending should be good for me as well. And I've got rook here, not letting his rooks into my position. This is a key move. And I've got rook f6, just keeping my extra pawn. And this is one game I certainly want to be pushing for a win in. Now, he is trying to come in here. So I've got to put my rook back on d7 and stop his rook coming in. And then I'm just going to try to activate, swap off a pair of rooks. You know, when, when you're when you're material up, it's a good idea to try to swap off uh, a bit of material. So we're going to go for some exchange... Um, off like this put the rook on this square somewhere over there um, something like this so he's bringing his king in and 
I will try to either maybe even attack these pawns. This this seems very natural. Let's do it this way. But my extra pawn is not so good because it's a double pawn. So it's not a great extra pawn. We should always move Harry. We should always make sure Harry plays a part of the game. Um, but this is not easy to win. Don't get me wrong. It's not easy to win at all. Um, it can require... Oh, he's, he's quick as well. Okay, I need to also play quick. So I want to play c5, get rid of my, one of my bad pawns here. This is this is my next plan, but I'm going to have to go into a bit of a bit of a, a quicker a quicker stance. Maybe a5 as well. So I'm trying to play a5 or c5. I need to get my extra pawn working. Harry stops his pawn. So this one looks more natural, but if I play that one, he would have played rook c3. I've got to watch out for his tricks. So this I want to weaken b4 and then try to win b4. Uh, is my my next idea okay well Lawrence has taken a risk here because he has to come here now and it's a race kind of situation probably his best chance this is probably his best chance but my pawns should be quicker they should be quicker um, but okay my one pawn kind of stops his pawns from coming as long as I'm careful. So, okay, so he's gone here. Now, I've got to, now he's forcing my king away. So if I go back, his king comes in, but then I can check him. So I think this is just about okay. Just about okay. Because I've got this check here. This check here is a key check. Without this check, I'd be in serious trouble. And I can re reroute by getting my rook around like this. This is how I rearrange my pieces. And now my pawns can go. So this should be good. And the endings are going to be good because this pawn is so advanced. And here it comes. So we're just going to push this guy. And that guy is very hard to stop. Impossible to stop. So I think that's probably going to be it. He can he can try he can try some tricks here, but they shouldn't work. And I think this is the easiest way, but you know, um, I'm just going to go here first to stop his king coming in. There's no point stopping that. And okay, there we go. So that is that is match for me. There's only one more game. Can Lawrence get a bit of respect back by winning the last game? And that one, okay, was okay. Well, thanks, Loz. Last game, mate. Last game. I'm doing a befallen you on your bottom. You're being befallenized. Sort of sound like performant, performized, not sodomized, performanized. Um, and um, <laughs> okay, well, after this, if, if John does want a game, I'll challenge him to the same. I'll, I'll challenge John to uh, a little match as well. Why not? So we'll see if, um, if John does this. I'll probably play one more game against Lawrence because otherwise he'll start beating me. Uh, but yeah, I'll try, I'll try to see performanized. God, that just came out of my knife. Not sobbenized, but formanized. That's what happened to Trent. He got a bit of performination by the nation. Anyway, I think the games have been, uh, uh, you know, quite interesting. Okay, so now we're getting this same opening we just had, but with the colours the other way around. I think isn't this the same? This is the kind of uh, this is the king's gambit that I that I tend to play. We go for the same line because it worked out quite well. The only difference is. That in the last game he had a pawn here, so let's try. Let, let's let's see. Let's see what this is like. I don't know. It, it looks interesting, doesn't it? It looks interesting. This this kind of position. Now I'm pretty sure he should check over here. I'm pretty sure he should give a check. And then I, then I'm just going to go g3 maybe and 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 sacrifice like a like a nutter. Is that is that a good idea or a bad idea? I don't know. Um. Well, we'll do the same again. It worked very well last time, but. I'm going to find a better way to attack now. Okay, so he wants to get rid of this knight, but he can do if he wants to. My pieces are all developed. I have a nice position. This king's gambit is causing uh, causing him a l quite a lot of trouble. Um, and now I even have this knight here. I mean, Lawrence is just relying on tricks like a check. You know, check. He loves he loves his little checks, Lawrence. But I might even let him do that. You know, I I might I might let him take that pawn because. He's gonna be, he's gonna, you know, I might, I might let him do that one. 
Kind of, I'm kind of thinking that I might let him check me and take there. You know, come on, let's let's hit. You can do it. You can do it because I like having my knight in this very aggressive position with ideas of bishop d6, knight h6, knight takes pawn, knight d6, uh, this kind of thing coming on. Uh, I know it's very risky for him to take on on b2 at the moment. Very risky. He can take on b2, but it's very risky. Now, like I mentioned before, if you if you do want to support me, please subscribe to to my channel. Um, why why would you want to subscribe? Well, the thing is, by subscribing, I'm not going to put all the. If you miss a video, I'm not going to put all these on YouTube, so you can rewatch it later on. Um, a video that is you know that is is not going to be uh, that I'm not going to put on YouTube, so you won't miss any videos. So that's one good reason. Okay, but let's think about the position. Now, rook here, he will check me. Bishop here, rook here. Do I have a check there, followed by some crazy tactics? Do I just go rook f3 and try to play like this? I don't. I, he's got queen. Okay, let's let's play rook f3. Just trying to bring my last piece into the attack. And sometimes this rook can come across into the attack. So may, I, I don't mind. I really don't mind if he grabs on b2. He can grab this pawn. This pawn, I think, is is. I'm not worried about that pawn. I knew he would go for this. He's grabbed it. He's so greedy. He's such a greedy, greedy, greedy player. But I'm hoping now my pieces are well positioned. But I missed. He has queen b5. Good move. Good move from Lawrence. Because now I don't want to swap queens, of course. Don't want to swap queens. Can I avoid it? Queen here. Rookie, rookie eight. That's annoying. That's very annoying. If I swap queens, my position is, is not good. So... How do I keep the queens on the board? Uh, that's frustrating. So, knight h6 should work somehow, but I can't see how. Knight h6 takes, check, king h8. I might have to swap queens. I can't see any solution. Queen here, rook here. And then, what am I playing there? I can't see what I'm doing. So this is really frustrating. I have to swap queens. This is not good if I have to swap queens. Ah, no fun. Knight check. Can I make this work somehow? I can't see. My position is pretty bad now. I, he should have taken the pawn. I, I thought I forgot about this queen b5 move, which was a very good move. And now, now my attack is kind of disappearing. Because uh, I need the queens on to attack. That's for sure. I can't keep the queens on the board. So, uh, and my, my time is running out now. I'm gonna, oh, I don't like that at all. Okay, I'm gonna have to swap queens like this to, to keep my pawn structure a bit better. Um, it's my only idea because the other pawn structure was horrible. So this is the only way to do it. Taking the queen, I, my pawns would be so weak. At least this way I can bring a pawn to the center. But of course I'm a down, down one minute now. But you know what? Sometimes you lose the battle but you win the war. And I didn't even see you could take that one. I didn't even see that. So, uh, <laughs> oh dear. Well, you know, it was a sacrifice. Sacrifice. Sacrificial idea. You know? It get Ah, oh dear, he's taking the... Ah, oh, bloody hell, he's getting the queens off. My, is, is my sacrifice going to work? Probably not. He's probably now wondering, how did I lose to this patser? But like I said, you know, Lawrence, you... you You've, you've won the battle, but you've lost the war. You've lost the war, mate. The war has been won. This is just a, you know, this is a, I'm still going to fight. But his pawn is very strong. So I need to, uh, I need to do something. How am I going to stop this guy? I can't stop that guy, can I? There's no way. Okay, I'm going to resign that one. All right, okay. Well, that was uh, that was that was that. Um, um, thanks for the game, Lawrence. I know you want a rematch, but I like the score. I like the score. Uh, Trent Trent would win the drinking competition. Would Trent? Would Would Lawrence win the drinking competition? Good Good games, Lawrence. There were some very very fun games there. Very fun games. We enjoyed those games. Thanks for the match. And um, I don't know who would win the drinking competition. Me or Lawrence? 
I think we've had lots of drinks together, so I, I don't know. I don't know who it would be. I kind of think I, I might be favourite. I'm a bit bigger than Lawrence, to be honest, so I think I, I would probably edge it.